Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. This is my first camera. I got this for my 18th birthday and this is kind of responsible for the obsession that led me to where I am today. I took this camera with me to Barcelona back in 2013 and I probably took around about a thousand photos. Most of those photos did end up on Facebook without any form of editing whatsoever. Silly, 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 silly me. So my challenge today is to actually pick this camera back up, put a lens on it and see if I can still use it after using a mirrorless camera for over two years and actually to also see how it fares against my M50. Now for this video, I will be using mostly the Canon 24 to 70 for the images. However, for the landscape images, I did use this 10 to 20 mil that I'm using on my black magic right now. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so this camera itself is actually a DSLR camera. Unlike my M50, which is a mirrorless camera, so there are a few things that I had to get used to right off the bat. First thing I had to get used to was the viewfinder. So obviously on the DSLR, you actually have a normal viewfinder, which is just seeing things through the lens thanks to the mirror. Whereas on a mirrorless camera, you actually are using the image that you're going to be capturing directly from the sensor itself. So you're seeing what the sensor sees, which is amazing because, well, in my opinion, it's amazing because you can see exactly the image that you're going to be getting when you press the shutter button based on the settings that you have put in. So the next thing is that the 1100D has a much lower shutter speed than the M50. The 1100D shoots at three frames a second, whereas the M50 shoots at 10. That's a big difference. And one of the subjects that I challenged myself to capture with the 1100D was my dogs. And yeah, that was, that was tough, very tough. Okay, so there are other differences and there are quite a lot, but that's enough about the specs. Let's kind of see how the images match up. Take a look at these images side by side and let me know in the comments which ones you think are the M50 and which ones you think are the 1100D. And afterwards, I'm gonna show you which ones are which. Okay, so as you can see, the M50 tends to have a lot higher detail than that of the 1100D. That is because the sensor is larger. You're looking at a 24 megapixel sensor versus a 16 megapixel sensor. And the M, both of them are APS-C, but the M50 itself is obviously a newer camera, has better processor, different processor, better sensor than the 1100D did back in the day. So the other thing is the M50 I've been shooting in RAW because that is what I shoot on the M50. And on the 1100D as part of the challenge, I've been shooting in JPEG. So these color graded images that I'm gonna be putting in here, the original ones were straight out of camera. These images themselves are now color graded to what I would prefer. So let me know if you can spot the difference on these. But other than that, that is it for this video. If you did like it, don't forget to hit the like button. If you didn't, feel free to share and at me on Twitter for that free promotion. Don't forget to get subscribed, stay up to date by lighting the bell to be notified every time I release a new video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.